Yes, friends. Hi, hello. A very good evening to all of you. My name is Ganesh Pawar, and uh, you are now live with me, uh, having this wonderful session of Target Bits at 2020. Gradually, we'll be looking at uh, the different aspects of this awesome examination, uh, which is the entrance examination for bits, right? Now, uh, bits examination, which is based, uh, bits, uh, uh, is a college which is basically Birla Institute of Technology and Science, one of the most reputed examination I must say, one of the most reputed colleges I must say, and BitSat is the entrance examination for the same. Uh, just to give you a, qu a quick uh, background about it, uh, bits is currently the sixth best college in our country. Right? Of course, the top five uh, universities are all IITs, but you need to understand that these five colleges that are on BITS, these are all government institutes. Hai. Correct? All of these are government institutes and most importantly, the entrance exam to get into these colleges is IIT J mains and then, of course, IIT J advanced. Right? And the entrance exam to get into BITS is BITSAT. Yeah, which is an absolutely different kind of an examination, right? And that is why we are here to understand more about it in detail. Yeah, for those who do not have that much clarity about this examination, for those also who have a bit of clarity about this examination and are preparing for it, and also for those who are currently have just now entered 12th standard, having completed the 11th standard, yeah, or agla ek saal wo prepare karne wale. The next one year they are going to prepare. So basically, it's all about planning because trust me, friends, BITSAT is that kind of an examination which is absolutely completely different than JE mains and JE advanced, and hence a strategy is required. So let's talk about it more. So just a quick uh, background about me. My name is Ganesh Pawar. I am B.Tech M.Tech from IIT Bombay. And I, uh, I took the onus upon me to have this session. Uh, in fact, this is my first session on an academy platform. Yeah, and it took the onus on me to, uh, you know, uh, explain all about BitSat examination because uh, I think this is an exam which was, you know, somewhat close to me. Although I cleared, uh, you know, IITJ during the same year when uh, I was attempting BitSat examination. Uh, but I, I, I did pretty good, yeah. And then I figured out ki what should be a rough algorithm to score good in BITSAT examination, yeah. So let's start, friends. Of course, as it is written, target BITSAT 2020. So basically, primarily, this video, this trending video, is for all those students who are going to give this examination. Uh, you know, uh, we know we don't know when next month, next to next month, maybe in July. Whenever <clears throat> all things are going to reopen due to uh, coronavirus, but yes, um, we need to strategize, we need to plan because everyone else is right. So uh, let's get back to action and start to understand, to unravel the mystery of this awesome examination bit set, right? So yes, uh, as I said, it's not only for those students who have already done uh, their 12th standard, who have already given their 12th uh, standard examination, but also for those who have just started their 12th standard, right? So also for those who are going to give BITSAT in 2021. So dono sets of bachcho ke liye ye important hai. Uh, so uh, please dhyan se suniega. Absolute focus because you never know what point is going to be important for you. All right, so let's uh, let's try and understand first before uh, talking about BITSAT because this video is going to be uh, more about BITSAT, the examination. Let's have a quick look about BITS, the college and the campuses. Trust me, friends, I am an IIT Bombay grad, so of course IITs are amazing, no doubt about it. But I have also gone to one of the BITS colleges as well. I have gone to BITS Goa and I have seen it's an amazing campus. All right, and I'm not saying that because it is in Goa. I'm saying that because BITS is actually a very good college, not only in terms of the campus, but also its infrastructure, the uh, the science and technology, the innovations, the professors, the faculty, uh, you know, the atmosphere, the ambience that is built, it's absolutely amazing. So as far as now, as you can see, uh, BITS Pilani, uh, as I said, is the sixth ranked college in the country as of now. So which makes it the best college in our country when it comes to private institutions because the pehle paach colleges are wo government institutes hai, correct so bits pilani in a way is the best private autonomous institute in our country of course after that there is bits goa there is bits hyderabad and bits also has a relatively newer campus in bits dubai as well right so <clears throat> as i said amazing college amazing campus amazing sets of students so new friends you'll get to learn a lot of things 
definitely very good infrastructure so if you are looking forward in the field of engineering and sciences and research later you are going to learn a lot more importantly since ye point abhi mujhe strike kiya i'll tell it right now that if at all you feel that you know i have seen a uh, different kinds of students all right there is one set of students who are very adamant about yaar ki mujhe iit jana hai ठीक है या मुझे आई आई टी बॉम्बे जाना है या मुझे आई आई टी डेली जाना है आई आई टी टैग से बहुत ज्यादा लगा होता है माई करेक्ट देर आर लॉर्ड ऑफ स्टूडेंट आई रेज माई हैंड बिकॉज आई वॉज दैट काइंड ऑफ अ स्टूडेंट हु बैडली वॉन्टेड टू गो इन टू आई आई टी राइट डजेंट मैटर विच आई आई टी डजेंट मैटर विच स्ट्रीम या देन देर इज अकेंड काइंड ऑफ स्टूडेंट विच यू नो एंड दीज आर दोज काइंड ऑफ स्टूडेंट हु आर वेरी यू नो Uh, attached to a particular stream कि मुझे कंप्यूटर साइंस करना है नहीं मुझे मैकेनिकल करना है मुझे इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स करना है राइट सो बिट्स इज वेरी सुटेबल फॉर दोज काइंड ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु फील कि यार आई एम वेरी अटैच टू अ पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रीम राइट इट मे हैपन दैट यू आर नॉट स्कोरिंग वेरी गुड इन जेई मीन्स मे बी यू यू आर नॉट एबल टू स्कोर वेरी वेल इन जेई एडवांस बट यू कैन स्टिल स्कोर गुड इन बिट्स and still get your desired stream right so basically the second set of students who are attached more to a particular stream man uh, you, you score a decent rank in uh, jee advance and you are getting admission in let's say iit kharagpur uh, in chemical i'm just giving you an example all right and on the other side you score really good in bitsat and you uh, <clears throat> and uh, you get computer science in bits pilani yeah now the first set of students will go to iit kharagpur and the second set of students will go to bits pilani computer science it's as simple as that i hope ye difference aapko samajh mein aaya hoga so agar aapko koi ek particular stream se zyada lagav hai so of course keep this option open of bits and uh, of course in this particular video we'll talk more about uh, the examination which takes you in yeah but no doubt there is uh, this these campuses these colleges are absolutely fabulous all right so let's understand more about these colleges and basically the the things that matter yeah of course we have uh, we have talked about all the glorious things jo jo cheeze college mein jaane ke baad aapko maza aata hai us cheezon ke bare mein humne baat kar liya but abhi hum baat karenge wo details ke bare mein jo actually matter karenge the details that matters right as we have already talked about this that bits is a college which is a private college right birla uh, institute of technology and science it's a private college autonomous college right so the fees is relatively on the higher side of course you can get scholarships if you uh, go through a particular structure and um, you know plan for it of course you can get scholarships to a certain degree i have i've seen that 20 to 30% of the students do get scholarships to uh, of various amounts but in general the fees is really high so let me give you a rough idea of the fees over here it's approximately 4 lakhs per year theek okay? hai फोर लैक्स पर ईयर द करंट थिंग विच बेसिकली टेल्स यू कि आपका जो बी टेक बी का कोर्स है उसके लिए आपको सिक्सटीन से एटीन लैक्स का खर्चा आने वाला है फॉर दिस एंटायर फोर ईयर प्रोग्राम यस फोर ईयर बी ई प्रोग्राम यूल बी यू नो यूल बी स्पेंडिंग दिस मच अमाउंट ऑफ मनी यू एंड योर पेरेंट्स यूल बी स्पेंडिंग दिस मच अमाउंट ऑफ मनी सो यू नीड टू बी अवेयर ऑफ दिस एंड यू हैव टू बी वेरी क्लियर कि इतना खर्चा होने वाला है दिस मच इज दिस मच इज दी अमाउंट ऑफ एक्सपेंसिस दैट इज गोइंग टू गो एंड इफ यू थिंक यू एंड योर पेरेंट्स योर फैमिली कैन अफोर्ड दिस सो कीप दिस ऑप्शन ओपन बिकॉज ट्रस्ट मी फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको लगता है कि आई आई टी का टैग बहुत हैवी है इट मैटर्स बिट्स का टैग भी बहुत रेलेवेंट है बहुत मैटर करता है और ये आपको बहुत इजीली पता चल जाएगा इनके पैकेजेस से सो लेट मी टेल यू द एवरेज पैकेज ऑल राइट द एवरेज पैकेज दैट गोज इट गोज अप टू 11 टू 12 लाख या पर एन एम नेचुरली इलेवन टू ट्वेल्व लैक पर एन एम इज द एवरेज सैलरी पैकेज फॉर एनी बिट सैच बिट स्टूडेंट या बट you will be astonished to know that the highest package that has ever come out of a bits institute is 1.4 cr and that's a lot right 1.4 uh, 48 or 44 cr to be specific uh, of a student uh, who got um, you know a job in google right so 1.4 cr is a huge salary package so basically what i mean to say is that 
बिट्स इज सच एन इंस्टीट्यूट ये एक ऐसा कॉलेज है जो आपको बहुत सारे अपॉर्चुनिटीज देता है ऑफकोर्स देर इज अ हाई फीस एंड हेंस यू विल गेट दैट काइंड ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर यू विल गेट दो काइंड ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड इफ यू डू गुड यू कैन गेट अ गुड पे पैकेज एज वेल राइट सो एवरी थिंग इज ग्रेट अबाउट बिट्स नाउ द सेकेंड थिंग दैट यू नीड टू नो इज द रिजर्वेशन एंड कोटा देर इज नो रिजर्वेशन वॉट्स एवर to enter in this college is not even sports quota no other kind of reservations at all absolutely no reservation right so this is an important thing that you need to know so if you feel that okay you are from a general category so you don't have to bother about the other factors that get that involved into getting admission right now the eligibility criteria yeah so eligibility criteria is something which i don't think should matter much because of course if you are giving an examination of bitsat uh, you will be studying for your 12th standard because the syllabus is all of your 12th uh, 12th standard 11th and 12th standard ncert we'll talk about that a bit later but the eligibility criteria is that you should score at least 75% yeah <coughs> average in pcm Yeah, so basically physics, chemistry or maths in तीनों subjects का जो average है 75 plus होना चाहिए right? So this is the eligibility criteria. Yeah, and there is an additional uh, cap that in every subject you should score 60 plus. Yeah, which basically means again as I said, <coughs> not very relevant because I assume that if a student is doing good. Yeah, I assume if a student is doing uh, doing good in 11th and 12th standard, decently good, and wants to appear a bit sad, इतने marks तो इतने number तो आपके आ जाएंगे, correct? So basically, what this means is, let's say by chance if you score 60 in physics, yeah, of course you can't score 59 because if you score 59, eligibility criteria से आप out हो जाते हो. Let's say if you score 60 in physics, of course, right? Then let's say you score 75 in chemistry, then you need to score. 90 in maths so that the overall average comes out to be 75 yeah so basically the idea is pcm add all the three divide by 3 your average should be more than 75 that is the eligibility criteria now the students who are in who have already appeared that 12 of course you guys will say that hamare results so abhi tak aaye nahi hai which is quite natural your results haven't come out yeah but this criteria will be applicable let's say you score um, you know rank 1 in india and you have not scored 75% plus you will not be allowed to enter bits right so of course this is something that will be taken into account after your results come out Yeah, after you get your uh, marks in BITSAT examination and after uh, you you are uh, applying for admissions, then this um, you know uh, criteria will be seen. So, ये बहुत important है. But again, as I said, I feel that 75 plus percent uh, score करना उतना ज़्यादा difficult नहीं होना चाहिए आपके लिए. And finally, the admissions. Yes. Now, finally, we talk about the admissions. Uh, <clears throat> the only way to get into BITS is BITSAT. Yeah. uh actually that statement is not entirely true but i would like to stick to that statement because there is only one other way of getting into bits right there is only one other way uh, in, uh, to get into the bits colleges and that is to be a state board topper right so in fact if if you are a cbse board uh, topper or in fact you are let's say you, you stay in maharashtra and you are giving your state examinations for your 12th standard and you top that particular board tamil nadu board karnataka board whichever state you belong to and if you top that board that is one other way to get into bits right so you can uh, qualify using bitsat of course there is an eligibility criteria which you need to understand apart from bitsat you can qualify for bits directly if you are a board topper so i hope everyone has understood all the uh, you know details that you need to understand starting from the financial uh, fee structure to the salary packages the um, you know the kind of examination the quotas that are involved the eligibility criteria and the way in which you can enter bits correct so yes friends after talking about this uh, <clears throat> let's go forward let's go forward a bit yeah <clears throat> so yes now let's talk about bits at the examinations and the cut offs which are going to be relevant correct so the total score of this examination is going to be out of 450 right 
the total score of this examination is going to be out of 450 we'll talk about this number magic figure of 450 a bit later but right now let's have a quick look at the cutoff as i said bits pilani is the um, you know the highest graded private institute and the best bits college yeah and then comes bits goa and then comes bits hyderabad and you can see uh, their cutoffs very straight away uh, here and it, it reflects in their cutoffs right so 383 is the magic number these are the 2019 last year ke cutoffs hai, okay? so 383 out of 450 is the cutoff so the last student to get into cs is uh, has scored 383 and you can see that there's a bit of a dip for the uh, entering goa 352 and then 3 42 yeah and then you can see different uh, streams here computer science is the first stream and then there is uh, electrical and uh, electrical communication then uh, this is electrical engineering this is electrical and instrumentation then there is mechanical then there is chemical then there is civil engineering and you can see ki those streams have uh, electrical ke uh, bits pilani mein electrical and communication electronics and communications nahi hai but electronics and communications is there in goa and hyderabad being the second stream we have tried to align the um, you know cut offs according to decreasing number of marks so you can see that bits goa has these six streams and uh, you know this is how they are aligned sabse pehle cs khatam hota hai fir uske baad communication electronic uh, electronics communication then there is electrical engineering then there is electrical and instrumentation furthermore there is mechanical and then chemical right civil manufacturing heni goa mein b pharma is something uh, <coughs> you need to understand that b pharma is uh masculine <clears throat> pharmacy naturally but for that instead of mathematics there will be biology in your examination something that um, you know uh, you need to understand that instead of all the mathematics question there will be biology question that's the only difference so yes friends after knowing these cutoffs after getting a feel that how much marks you need to score to get into your desired bits college let's take it further and dig a bit deeper about the bitsat examination because everything is about the bitsat examination right the first and foremost thing that you got to do is ki aap bitsat examination kaise crack karte ho if you are doing good in bitsat only then you get your desired seat there right so have a quick look on uh, this number of questions that come in every examination of bitsat yeah it's a computer based examination so you need to understand that let me write that quickly over here it's a computer based examination yeah <clears throat> yeah now the total time the total time is of 3 hours correct the total time is 3 hours so basically that is 180 minutes yeah so in 180 minutes yeah that's not a lot of time if you consider the total number of uh, <clears throat> the total number of questions that you will have to attempt which is 150 Yes, friends. So you'll notice that there are 40 questions for physics, 40 questions for chemistry, but there are 45 questions for maths, a bit more. So slightly more weightage is given to maths slightly. But at the same time, I would like to pinpoint here that the, uh, you know, the kind of questions, the difficulty level of the questions, I would say that the difficulty level of maths is slightly more uh, difficult as compared to physics and chemistry. Yeah, we'll talk about that a bit more later in this uh, journey in this particular video plus there are 15 questions from the english subject we'll talk about that as well and 10 questions from logical and reasoning section right so <clears throat> the 15 and 10 questions that you see i consider them that they are relatively easy agar basic padhai thodi bahut padhai aap kar loge to ye jo 25 question hai aakhri ke 15 aur 10 the 15 and 10 questions the last two sections the last two uh, <clears throat> subjects over here are very easily scorable right now you need to understand that every question every question gives you plus three yeah in terms of marks every question gives you plus three yeah and minus one plus three and if you get that question wrong you will score minus one mark yeah so which tells you that if you get all the 150 questions correct yeah of course it, it's it's like Mount Everest, yeah, let's not talk about Mount Everest when we are not going to go local pahad, Rajmachi, nahi hai, to Mount Everest, ke baat nahi karenge. but yeah, let's, let's talk about the maximum, yeah, 150 into 3 is 450, yeah, we'll come back to this number again later, yeah, I hope you remember, kuch slides pehle humne baat kiya tha ki 450 mein se score hoga, so total number of marks that you can score is 450, although there is a catch, I'll talk about this catch, in a couple of slides again yeah the total number of marks is 450 but what you need to understand is that 
of course there is this minus one factor which is very important that means you should not ideally guess yeah guess tabhi karna jab aapko lage ki yaar you know char mein se do options to galat hain theek hai and in most likely cases you are confident about two options being wrong and the other two options uh, you know you are doubtful about you are saying that the other two options one of them is correct that is the time and of course don't do it all the while only do it if and if at all it is necessary and we'll talk about why it is necessary later because as i said that asterisk symbol is important because we are going to talk about that 450 figure later right so uh, don't take wild guesses at all but it needs to be in a very planned manner so yes this is how the exam is going to be structured you'll have 180 minutes that is 3 hours timeline and in that 3 hours timeline in those 180 minutes you'll have to solve 150 questions so as i said it is definitely an exam which is absolutely different as compared to your je mains and je advanced because in je mains and je advanced although even th- those two are uh, relatively different examinations but there you get more amount of time to solve each and every question and if i just think about distance upon time speed is equal to distance upon time so you will understand that you'll have to solve 150 questions in 180 minutes which basically says that you will you will have to target 1 minute per question on average am i am i correct 1 minute per question on average so basically <clears throat> these questions are those kind of questions which involve the basic concepts and that is why the syllabus part becomes very important your basic concepts the fundamental concepts need to be extremely strong yeah and the application needs to be precise without making any silly mistakes so these two things very important basic fundamental concepts needs to be very strong and you need to make sure that you are not making silly mistakes and that is why it becomes very important to practice really hard and make sure that you are very much accustomed before going into that computer center yeah so uh, before talking about the exam atmosphere the syllabus the syllabus is absolutely the same as that of ncert या एनसीआर टी इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ अगर आप एनसीआर टी इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ अच्छे से कर लेते हो सो आई डोंट थिंक यू शुड हैव अ प्रॉब्लम इन फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री एंड मैथ एट ऑल इंग्लिश एंड लॉजिकल रीजनिंग आर क्वेश्चंस इफ इफ यू गो थ्रू अ फ्यू काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस यू गेट एन आइडिया हाउ टू डील विद देम ऑफ कोर्स इंग्लिश के लिए आप थोड़ा बहुत रेनल मार्टिन यूज कर सकते हो फॉर योर बेसिक ग्रामर या एंड अगेन एज एस एड प्रैक्टिस ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन विल हेल्प यू लॉजिकल रीजनिंग ऑफकोर्स वंस यू सी काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट कम द काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट कम टू डील विद दैम शुड नॉट बी अ प्रॉब्लम राइट फ्रेंड्स सो अभी तक हमने क्या समझा बिटसाइट के बारे में ये स्पीड बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है फंडामेंटल कंसेप्ट बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है राइट right? और गलतियां नहीं करनी है सो दीज थिंग्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट यस फ्रेंड्स सो ओवरऑल आई फील दैट इफ आई हैव टू टॉक अबाउट इट द बिटसाइट एग्जामिनेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ रनिंग इज मोर लाइक अ हंड्रेड मीटर रेस इट्स नॉट अ मैराथन इफ इफ आई से लाइक द जे एडवांस इज अ मैराथन बिटसाइट एग्जामिनेशन इज एन एब्सोल्यूटली डिफरेंट थिंग इट्स हंड्रेड मीटर रेस on the other hand if i talk about cricket i'm talking it because i love cricket yeah if je advanced is test cricket then bitsat examination is t20 cricket and you got to be usain bolt and you got to be like sachin and dhoni there's a reason why i have uh, picked up sachin and dhoni over here uh, you could have picked up someone else in place of sachin but uh, what i want to basically signify here is you need to have an you know a very sweet blend yeah you need to have a very sweet blend of Uh, you know patience you need to build your innings as well even though it's a concise inning of 20 overs you need to build your innings you can't be all out in 70 overs uh, in 17 or 18 overs let's say and score about 80 or 90 runs sometimes rcb does that right uh, i'm sorry rcb fans but yeah that's what happens and that is why it's very important that in the first 4 5 6 overs in the power play you score uh, you know quick runs but after that in between between 6 between the 6th over and the 14 15th over you stabilize your innings you make sure you are not losing wickets you make sure that you are uh, you know steadily scoring singles and doubles and making sure that you are not losing more wickets and then comes dhoni in the last 6 overs bang 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 and you make your score a substantial score and you know uh, make sure that you go cross the finishing line same goes with usain bolt if you notice that jif image over there yeah अगर ध्यान से अगर आप ऑब्जर्व करोगे तो बीच वाला पार्ट काफी स्टेबल है और एंड में 
you give the last pull and that is exactly what is going to happen in your bit start examination of course it's not going to be 10 seconds right uh, usain bolt ka world record hai 9.58 seconds why because he is a master of that art because he has practiced that a lot and that is what is going to be very very important for a bit start examination of course you are going to give that bit start examination once but trust me you need to practice at least 50 mock tests for that this might sound like a big number but jitna aap practice karoge utna acha aapka wo test jayega the final examination test is going to be very relevant only then yes friends i tell you why just just imagine a situation again cricket but yeah let, let's just imagine a situation how many of you must have um, i'm pretty sure many of you must have seen a catch being taken uh, on a boundary line specifically in a t20 game have you seen a catch being taken not a normal catch a catch that the ball was going outside the boundary line uh, a fielder you know puts his hand throws the ball in comes back in and takes a catch yes i i think quite a few of you must have seen a catch like that yeah do you think that kind of a catch just comes out of a blue no friends there goes insane amount of practice in those kinds of catches as well yeah sharp run outs the helicopter shot hitting sixes time and again on every ball six sixes on six balls of an over these kind of things don't happen out of the blue these kind of things happen by tremendous amount of practice and that is why i have said 50 mock tests you know usain bolt uh, the world record for 100 meter race is 9.58 seconds but i'm pretty sure while practicing he has scored lesser he, he has broken his own world record but that's not an official record right what i mean to say ki agar aap ghar baith ke aise kafi sare mock test dete ho aur aap ek substantial score karte ho aisa score ki maan lo aap 380 390 400 tak pahunchte ho tab ja ke aap actual computer center mein 350 360 scores kar sakte ho and that is why i am saying practice is going to be superbly essential and more important than that is strategizing that practice needs to give you some fruit right and that is going to um, uh, that is going to be used as a strategy yeah and t20 cricket 100 meter race all these things are going to be very very uh, you know a crucial element in them is a strategy yes so now we'll talk about the strategy of the 3 hours of that examination right now we are not talking about <coughs> uh, before the examination of preparation kaise karte ho now we are talking about during those 3 hours yeah even if you are taking a mock test or you are taking an actual test what should be your strategy right so let's try and understand yes so on the x axis as you can see there is time yeah and on the y axis we are talking about focus and energy levels correct so <clears throat> let's try and understand let's say the exam starts at 9 and 3 uh, hours so it ends at 12 yeah so uh, i don't know how many of you have realized this but once you start your examination you feel uh, you feel that uh, you know the exam has started uh, you you are looking at a few things here and there and you know abhi tak pen paper pe nahi pada aur ekdam se cheeze shuru nahi hui everything has not yet started so the focus the attention the energy level is not at the highest and that is what this curve shows you yeah and this is something that you can realize self analysis karke dekho aapko samajh mein aayega aapka jo focus hai aapka jo brain processing speed hai wo dheere dheere karke badhega yeah it will grow gradually yeah and somewhere in the between yeah and somewhere in the between this is the time where you are at your peak where you are giving your best yeah and that is the time and hence the strategy becomes very important and that is why i i i generally tell all my students that start with the subject which is relatively easy for you or <clears throat> if more or less you are good in all the three subjects when i say all the three subjects i'm talking about physics chemistry maths we'll talk about english and uh, logical reasoning we'll try and squeeze that in smartly but i feel if you are de- decently good at all the three subjects there's no one subject that you are uh, you know uh, really uh, outstanding at then you need to ideally start with chemistry you know why because chemistry is that kind of a subject uh, <clears throat> you know where uh, it doesn't require too much amount of uh, Uh, you know won't say attention but it doesn't require too much amount of uh, focus you know there, there are relatively less chances of you making a mistake in chemistry correct kyunki chemistry mein kya hota hai na bachcho ki kafi sare questions memory based hote hain there are questions which are memory based questions uh, you know where you have to apply a very simple concept yeah we'll, we'll see a sample question as well uh, bitsat ke bare mein so generally start with chemistry 
yeah. you know uh, and and th- there are things where as i said a small quick formula that has to be put uh, memory based then ideally you should do in this section in the second part where where you are at your peak yeah this is where you should be dealing with mathematics because mathematics as i said two key components one key component is the difficulty level i feel it's relatively more difficult than chemistry and physics yeah relatively and secondly it involves calculations and hence you cannot be doing calculation silly mistakes which is something uh, you know in an exam atmosphere agar aap you know 50 bachcho ke aas paas baithe ho sab log computer mein dekh rahe hain aur sab log exam solve kar rahe hain there is a pressure which is a very natural thing don't you think so that is something you cannot run away from of course there might be uh, 10 to 20% of kids who are blessed with uh, this um, habit that they don't get affected by uh, the exam center at all the exam ambiance but generally maine dekha hai ki generally bachcho ko thoda affect karta hai and hence that affects uh, you know that causes silly mistakes and that is why in the mid time you are absolutely focused right and that is the time i feel you should ideally do mathematics right and then comes physics in this section in the last part this is what ideally i like to plan i like to strategy and <clears throat> you would notice the keyword customize yes why is this here is because this just tells you that every person is different every student is different every student has a different strong topic a different strong subject a different weak topic a different weak subject and that is why this strategy can be absolutely customized according to your own uh, you know strong and weak points according to your own analysis and that is why that mock test also becomes very very important right the more the mock test the more you realize what suits you better every time you can experiment alag alag time pe aap alag alag structure use kar sakte ho aur dekh sakte ho ki aapke liye sabse suitable kya hai right and once you get that stick to that and then keep practicing keep practicing keep practicing till you cross the desired goal right so uh, and of course either over here or either over here or either over here you can plug that english and logic wala section which has 25 sec- uh, 25 questions right that again uh, depends on how you want to strategize your thing but generally this flow goes good chemistry maths and physics because as i said peak in the between chemistry uh, one more very important factor here of taking chemistry at the start is because we said that uh, you know one minute per question is the ideal timeline that you should look at but chemistry mein kyunki memory based question hai kyunki aise questions hai jo fatafat solve ho sakte hain you will notice that those 40 questions in chemistry that you are solving would take relatively less time than 40 minutes and that gives you confidence yeah this confidence can be utilized in a much more positive way in the other sections so very important a uh, vital uh, you know reason why chemistry can be taken as a starting thing so basically the uh, the bottom line is agar aapka chemistry bura nahi hai if your chemistry is not bad if it's average or good then ideally starting with chemistry is always a good idea keeping maths in between is always a good idea and physics at the end is a good idea but while doing physics just make sure that क्योंकि वो लास्ट कंपोनेंट है लास्ट सेक्शन है यू नीड टू बी पेशेंट या एब्सोल्युटली कूल काम एंड कंपोज लाइक धोनी एंड मेक श्योर दैट यू आर हिटिंग योर राइट शॉट्स डू नॉट थिंक डू नॉट ओवर थिंक बी एब्सोल्युटली पेशेंट एंड नॉट पैनिक यस फ्रेंड्स सो अ फ्यू की थिंग्स व्हिच आर गोइंग टू बी इंपॉर्टेंट इन दोस 3 आवर्स या इन दोस 180 मिनट्स या आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टॉक लाइक शाहरुख खान कि वो 70 मिनट आपके but yeah it's something like that those 180 minutes are going to be very critical each and every minute rather each and every second is going to be crucial right so the first and foremost very important thing is speed yeah speed uh, i don't have to talk much about it. it this game is all about speed treat this as a game treat this this exam as a game and speed is the most important component of that yeah if you uh, if you uh, basically at at any point of the uh, in the examination at any point in this 3 hours if you uh, you know stop or uh, you know if if you put brakes on your uh, uh, on the uh, on the run that you are going through then it will impact your score a lot now having said that there is one very important thing that i i would want to say uh, because we are not robots right we are human beings and of course uh, not at the start maybe one hour one and a half hour somewhere in between i i sense that somewhere in between math like if you are solving uh, the second section as math somewhere in between that you will feel bored you will feel that i am tired i need a break yeah but then 
think about it do you think that you can afford a break when you are expected to solve one question every minute yeah it's going to be difficult right and hence it becomes very important to create different stat- strategies different customized strategies which help you get away from that break yeah and that break is created uh, because of tiredness as i said because your brain is constantly working constantly chirping with different formulas different um, you know uh, different conditions that you are applying different approaches that you are applying different tricks that you are applying and then at one point you will feel that tiredness isn't that a pretty logical and natural thing and if that happens i don't know if that suits you but th- there is one thing that i i, I as a student have applied i have suggested many of my students to apply it and many of times it has worked right during an examination uh, let's say if you feel this kind of a, a phase where you want to break where you want to uh, take time off yeah you, you can you, you can uh, use this strategy in your mock tests as well uh, pick any random song all right and in place of a song it can be an imagery as well i'm just trying to take an example koi bhi ek normal sa gana le lo jo aapko pasand hai but wo ek aisa gana hona chahiye jo aapko push kare right wo aapko push kare dhyan se samajhne ki koshish karna that you come out of that tired right yeah wo aapko push kar sakta hai like it can be any any literally any kind of song 10 to 15 to maximum of 20 seconds you you know just hum that song and come out of that right apna time aayega next question please this is what your thought process should be trust me it's not easy but once you get into that loop once you get habituated to that ये मैं अप्लाई करके बात बोल रहा हूँ एक बार आपको आदत लग जाएगी इसकी वंस यू आर हैबिचुएटेड टू दैट योर ब्रेन स्टार्ट्स गेटिंग अकस्टम टू दैट एंड दैट इज वेयर पॉजिटिव सिग्नल कम्स दैट ओके यू हैव हम दैट सॉन्ग नाउ वंस दैट हमिंग इज ओवर द नेक्स्ट टास्क इज द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नथिंग एल्स देर इज नो अदर वे आउट या बिकॉज वॉट हैपन बिफोर दैट ऑल द टायर्डनेस इज बीन डिस्ट्रैक्टेड बाई दैट सॉन्ग सो इट्स लाइक अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन tiredness song next question that should be the strategy right so of course speed is very very important as i said but there will be a time where you will break and hence for that there needs to be different strategies of course a very important thing is consistency consistency basically another thing that you have to say for consistency is accuracy so uh, that is where not making silly mistakes comes into picture yeah and again for that very reason mock tests very important yeah the more mock tests you solve the more you start feeling that you are actually in that computer center of course uh, jab aap ghar pe baithte ho aur relaxed atmosphere mein exam solve karte ho to mentally aapko lagta hai ki yaar you know ghar pe baithe hue ho but aapko ye feel karwana hai ki main computer center mein hu you need to feel that pressure yeah because that is going to happen yeah and hence you need to not make those silly mistakes tell your brain that this is one mistake i cannot afford to do analyze that next time not making that silly mistake right so consistency accuracy very important smart work very very important i'll take a few sample questions where you'll get an idea uh, where uh, you know you can use some simple tricks plug in values and try to solve the question in the smartest way possible you don't have to solve it like cbse acche se solve karke aapko answer nahi nikalna concepts of course apply karna hai acche se concepts apply karna hai the fundamental concepts have to be pin point and uh, you know uh, <clears throat> you have to work smart as well because the hard work has always been uh, already been done and that is why you have reached this level where you will have to apply your level best right and at whichever stage of the examination whatever kind of confidence that you can derive pick that confidence up and use that confidence to boost yourself up yeah this these are uh, you know these are feelings these are emotions that you will always go through in that 180 minute time period and as i said i repeat that again every minute every second is going to be crucial because one minute one second here and there will you know change your marks by you know one question wrong one question right plus four ho jayega idhar udhar so it's going to be really very important yes friends so uh, after that let's move forward yeah as i as i have been saying patience is going to be the key at any moment you cannot panic you cannot panic at all i have already told you that agar aapko tired lagta hai ya agar panic hi lagta hai you need to create your own ways of getting out of it right so uh, <clears throat> patience is the key and not panicking very very crucial uh, when it comes to delivering in the examination 
मॉक टेस्ट दैट इज वाई आपको जितना हो सके ऐसा फील करवा के लेना है कि आप एक्चुअल एग्जाम दे रहे हो करेक्ट सो यस फ्रेंड्स लेट्स कम बैक to that 3 hour cycle yeah on the x axis there is time yeah and on the y axis there was your focus and energy level i hope we did talk about this right the chemistry being the first topic maths being the second subject that you ideally take physics and then english and logic correct so uh, uh, you know again we did talk about this ki ye jo last wala component hai wo aap yahan pe ya yahan pe beech mein kahin dal sakte you can put english and logic here right so <clears throat> the general time frame is what i want to talk over here yeah the general time frame i think chemistry you should take less than 40 minutes so i generally like to put 30 to 35 minutes over here why is that because there are 40 questions correct you have 40 questions for chemistry and you should ideally target as less time as possible because most of these questions are something uh, there will be a few questions which you will just see and you will know the answer of course there will be questions which you would not know the answer of which you would not be able to solve as well and those questions you can mark in bits at examination you have this opportunity to mark the question for review so you can mark that question for review for later right now comes mathematics yeah mathematics has 45 questions and i feel that approximately it takes about 1 hour to solve these 45 questions it might happen kahi time ki uh, was 1 hour which is 60 minutes ke jagah 55 minutes mein ho jayenge of course you will not be able to maybe solve all the 45 questions you will leave 6 7 questions maybe yeah maybe even more but again you do not have to panic yeah it might also happen that you might take slightly more than an hour let's say 65 minutes or 70 minutes again do not panic yeah then your ideal target should be that solving physics in less than 50 to 55 minutes less than this time because you need to understand that again you have 40 questions over here yeah so abhi ek bar total add up karke dekh lete hain kitna hota hai theek hai agar main 30 aur 50 ko add karu to this is 80 minutes and 60 minutes over here that gives you uh, 80 and 60 minutes over here gives you 140 minutes now you have 40 minutes still left for this 25 question which is going to be really very easy because english and logical uh, logical reasoning wale questions jo hai i feel will take less than 1 minute per question so i i am going to put less than 25 minutes over here for this right so as you can see even if i consider 35 even if i consider 55 this adds up to 90 even if i consider 25 over here that's about 115 minutes and when i say 115 minutes for all of this this gives me about 65 minutes for match which is good enough so this ideally should be the distribution this ideally should be your strategy for applying but again having said that every person is different you can alter it a bit keeping the times same you can change the structure of uh, how you are going to give this examination now comes the asterisk part i hope everyone remembers the asterisk part yeah i had said that 450 is the total examination marks yeah 150 questions three marks each so the maximum that you can score is 450 yes but i didn't tell you the entire truth because the maximum marks that you can score in the bitsat examination is actually 486 now why is that that is because bitsat has this uh, you know unique structure of examination uh, which basically says that you have 150 questions for those 3 hours and if you are able to solve all 150 questions yeah if you are able to solve all 150 questions now when i say all 150 questions aap ek bhi question bina mark kiye chhod nahi sakte you cannot leave any question unmarked you have to have to attempt all 150 questions now this is where the um, you know uh, the key point comes that of course in those 150 questions there will be a few questions which you will be unable to solve there will be a few questions uh, uh, which you do not have any idea about now that is where you need to be very careful and flexible as well as i have written there first thing that you should think how much time is remaining yeah if you think that there is let's say about 8 to 10 minutes remaining right 8 to 10 minutes remaining and let's say there are about 10 to 15 such questions which you have uh, you know either you have a doubt at or you have no clue of and when i say doubt at aisa aisa ho sakta hai ki usme se aadhe questions aise ho Uh, where half of the questions are such where you think that these two options are wrong and the other two options may say ek option is right but you do not know which one now if you think that there are 10 minutes left or more than 10 minutes left that is where the guesstimation starts let's say a and b are the wrong options the correct answer is between c and d so 
you can pick one and guesstimate. Of course, you are risking. You are risking. But then, if you are able to solve all of these 150 questions, you will get this extra 12 bonus questions. Four from physics, four from chemistry, and four from mathematics. Why I'm stressing on this is because uh, the condition part is because you need to understand that once you um, you know, press the button and ask for these 12 bonus extra question, you cannot go back on the 150 question. Yeah, you cannot go back. You have to just deal with these 12 questions now. And these 12 questions in 2-3 will give you extra 36 marks and that is why you can score a max of 486 marks. During my big side attempt, second attempt, I scored 434. Yeah, and I did, uh, you know, get those 12 bonus extra questions. And I clearly remember that I had attempted eight to nine of them. Yeah, and it was a roller coaster ride. My heart was beating very fast, but it was fun, right? And trust me, friends, I had prepared a lot for that. I had, I had given a lot of mock tests, and my concepts, my fundamentals were absolutely clear during that time. I knew that my chemistry is going to be superbly fast. I think I had solved all the 40 questions of chemistry in between 25 to 30 minutes. So that gave me that confidence. I derived that confidence. Uh, took that confidence to maths, tried to solve maths in as fast uh, time as possible. I think I solved that in about uh, one hour, one hour, five minutes. And then I went to physics and then I went to English and logic. Then I had about 12 to 13 minutes remaining. And that is the time when I had 5-6 questions in 150 minutes. I guessed some questions, some questions, some questions, option eliminate and solve them. And I then went to the 12 bonus questions. Yes. And if you just Google right now, what is the highest bit set score that has been scored till now it's 454 i don't remember the name of that dude but uh, a se kuch bande ka naam hai but again mount everest ko climb karne ka abhi mat sochiye jab aap raj machi nahi chad sakte ho theek hai so one step at a time very important that dude had scored more marks than what the exam is of right so what i'm just trying to say is anything is possible but you need to self analyze you need to first analyze what is your current level yeah, solve as many mock tests as possible, understand what your mistakes are, analyze those mistakes, improve on those mistakes and then climb one step at a time. Do not try to jump unnecessarily in finite levels. Jaisa bilkul mat karna, that's a very bad strategy. One step at a time. First, give a bit set examinations after revising all of your 11th and 12th NCRT. See where you land. If you are at 280 or 300, all right, that's absolutely fine. That's a very good start. Trust me. And then... Gradually, up or mock test dena, usme se galtiya dhundo, find out your mistakes, where did you make those mistakes, make sure you are not repeating them in the next test and gradually 10 marks, 20 marks at a time will improve and that is where your confidence will be built up. Always be positive about it, target high, yeah, but do not get demotivated if you are not getting your desired result. Try and understand your mistakes always, that's going to be really, really very important, things, right? So, after understanding this, that, um, you know, what is the maximum that you can score? As I have been always saying, mock tests are going to be of huge relevance. Yeah. And these mock tests <coughs> are the best tools, solve as many as possible. Yeah. And when I'm talking about mock tests, let me just tell you that, um, you know, in an academy, we are trying to, um, you know, do as many mock tests as possible. Uh, I'll give you the details of mock tests as well. So uh, please do join. It will be fun. So if you uh, already have given your 12th standard, Upka pura 11th or 12th ka syllabus ho chuka hai. Try and do a quick revision of all the basic concepts as possible. And then let's try and solve those 45 questions of mathematics inside one hour. Let's try. Let's see kya hota hai. And you know, uh, again, as I said, you yourself also need to solve as much mock tests as possible. But only solving mock tests is not going to be, an, uh, um, you know, enough. The analysis is going to be of crucial importance. Wo analysis, message of mistakes zoomte ho. Yeah, the, the, the flaws that you find out, you need to use them and improve your strategy. That is going to be very key, very effective in uh, scoring good in BITSAT examination. Correct, friends? Now, let's take a sample question. Uh, let me pick up a chemistry sample question, right? Thoda bhot chemistry bhi aajata hai, utna jata yaad nahi, but koshish karte hai, thik hai? These are the kinds of questions that come in, uh, you know, big set. I'm just giving an example. Of course, there are different kinds of, uh, um, you know, uh, questions that come depending on uh, chapter to chapter. Organic, there are many questions that are solved in 10 seconds. 
ये पर्टिकुलर एलिमेंट का ओर क्या है करेक्ट या ये ओर में कौन सा एलिमेंट है एज सिंपल एज दैट ये पर्टिकुलर कंपाउंड का कलर क्या है ये पर्टिकुलर आयन में कितने अनपेड uh, इलेक्ट्रॉन्स है स्पिन क्या है ऑल ऑफ दीज दीज आर इजी थिंग्स सिंपल थिंग्स लेट्स ट्राई एंड हैव अ लुक एट दिस क्वेश्चन इट्स ऑल मोर अबाउट ऑब्जर्वेशन व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हैज द मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ एटम्स नाउ व्हाट डज एटम्स मीन एटम्स इज नथिंग बट या number of moles into avogadro's number am i correct avogadro's number is 6.023 into 10 raised to 23 which is fixed so basically yeah maximum number of moles means maximum number of atoms am i correct at that concept to so basically hame ye dhoondna hai ki in char options mein se kis cheez ke paas which of these things has the maximum number of moles if i get that i get i can say that that same thing has the maximum number of atoms am i correct friends right so all you have to do is use the idea and and of course you need to also understand looking at the options that all the four options have uh, elements they do not have any compounds right so they are all elements so you can directly take the weight and you can say that number of moles is going to be weight upon molecular weight correct so now the first thing 24 grams i know that carbon ka molecular weight is 12 and they have given that as well so 24 upon 12 that gives you 2 yeah 56 upon 56 iron ka molecular weight is 56 even if these numbers are not given i think you should know these numbers 56 upon 56 is 1 27 upon 27 is 1 108 upon 100 1 clearly the answer is a so as you could see if you observe properly i think you can solve this inside 45 seconds maybe even 30 seconds if you are fast at it if you are if you have already solved a question like this i think you should be capable enough to do it inside 45 seconds Yes friends let's try and have a quick look at the mathematical question right now as you can see the question says if x is equal to cos alpha plus cos beta minus cos of alpha plus beta and y is equal to 4 sin alpha by 2 sin beta by 2 cos beta by 2 cos of alpha plus beta by 2 then find the value of x minus y i'm pretty sure most of you will skip this question am i correct or not या बिकॉज यू वुड थिंक यार इतना सॉल्व कौन करेगा इसका सोल्यूशन यहाँ पे है ध्यान से देखो यहाँ पे क्या किया हुआ है वाई को यहाँ पे सिंप्लीफाई किया हुआ है या डिफैक्टराइजेशन हुआ है यहाँ पे यस कॉस अल्फा प्लस बीटा बाई टू यहाँ पे वैसा का वैसा रखा हुआ है या इट्स देर एज इट इज बट दीज टू टर्म्स देर इज डिफैक्टराइजेशन दैट इज बीन डन सिंप्लीफाइड सॉल्व एंड देन यू कैन सी दैट वाई कम्स आउट टू बी एक्स माइनस yeah why comes out to be x minus 1 which basically tells you that x minus y is nothing but 1 am i correct friends yeah but there is a lot of solving involved yeah but <clears throat> i'm not saying each and every math question can be solved like that but how about this i take alpha is 0 degrees beta is 90 degrees is that fine i can take any any numbers which which i feel comfortable in right would that be wrong think about it yeah and if you are smart enough and fast enough can i say that x equal to cos alpha which is cos 0 that is 1 plus cos beta that is cos 90 which is 0 minus cos of alpha plus beta which is cos 90 again which is 0 and hence the value of x is 1 how about the value of y isn't it 4 sin alpha by 2 now alpha by 2 is 0 and sin 0 is going to be 0 now i don't care what the value sin beta by 2 gives i don't care what the value cos of alpha by alpha plus beta by 2 gives because anything into anything into 0 is going to give you 0 now i know the value of x and y for these two values of alpha and beta which i can take because aisa koi restriction nahi hai ki alpha aur beta koi particular values nahi le sakta so i can clearly see x minus y is 1 minus 0 giving you the value 1 which i have got by tremendous application of formula and solving right so what i'm trying to say is not all questions out of the 45 but definitely 5 to 10 questions can be easily solved just by plugging values if you if you are clear with your concepts and if you know what can be done where you can solve questions of maths like this as well of course details will be um, you know we, we are going to take mock tests and in those mock tests we'll be discussing mock tests we'll be seeing different kinds of approaches different kinds of questions yeah so bahut tarike ke questions hum dekhenge so looking forward to those uh, videos as well yeah here's one physics question and as you can see uh, you know physics question is more about uh, you know structuring the ratios properly applying your simple formulas right 
and if you feel that your physics is not good so don't keep it at the last try and keep it second last and keep english and logic at the last that is why i was saying uh, try this uh, thought process chemistry first then maths then physics and then english logic right so as you can see the information you have to be very careful again when you read the information mass of moon is 1 upon 81 yeah mass of moon is 1 upon 81 times mass of earth so you write down the data fast quick easy but the gravitational pull is 1 by 6 of the earth so gravitational uh, pull small g is 1 by 6 of the earth then what which of the following is correct now you can quickly come to this idea that g small g is gm upon r square now it clearly shows that if i want to talk about the radius because option a and option 2 are talking about the radius right so can i quickly say that r square yeah r square is gm upon g capital g small m upon small g uh, capital g uh, capital m upon small g which clearly says that r is equal to root of gm upon small g correct we know that capital g is a constant so basically can i say that r is proportional to root of m upon g which basically says that r e upon r m small e is earth small m is moon which can it can we can clearly say that it is going to be root of M E upon M M into root of G M upon G E strictly on the basis of this idea. So basically, structuring the formula and you know writing these ratios. Once you get this, it's all about uh, the the information that you have. You you can clearly see that M E upon M M here is eighty one. So it's root of eighty one over here. yeah with this second piece of information you know gm upon ge is uh, 1 upon 6 so you can see that this is root of 1 upon 6 and this is the value that you are looking for right so you can clearly see that uh, this is 9 9 upon root 6 and hence option b is the correct answer right so again these are the kinds of questions that come in um, you know chemistry maths and physics and if you have noticed these are not very difficult questions all you have to do is make sure that your fundamental concepts are right and you are not making any silly mistakes and practice a lot right friends so again what we conclude through this session of um, you know exploring the bitsat examination is mock tests heavily important right heavily important as many mock tests as possible yeah but more important than that is how you use those mock tests as an approach as as an analysis what mistakes you have done to understand that do not um, you know make those mistakes again jo bhi mistakes hue hain you make sure that you revise those particular concepts and then repeat again the same cycle to make sure that you are getting better and better every passing day correct now uh, one more important thing uh, agar aap 12th standard de chuke ho if you have already given your 12th standard uh, 26th april is the date uh, on which bitsat application closes so check out uh, ha have a good research make sure try and go through this video again and if it all uh, it helps you it will, i'll i'll be really happy that i could contribute in that trust me it's going to be a, a very good next one month in terms of bitsat on the unacademy 11th and 12th channel because we are going to uh, put tremendous amounts of efforts to help Help you guys uh, elevate your scores in BITSAT examination. So make sure that uh, if you really think that this is the exam for you, apply for it. There's just two days remaining. 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 through the mock test we will be also revising all the important concepts right so looking forward to these mock tests that we are going to do in the chat sumit sir is going to um, you know conduct physics ke mock test sakshi ma'am is going to conduct chemistry ke mock test and uh, umesh sir has already conducted uh, a mock test of uh, bitsat math even i'll be uh, joining him and we both are going to conduct a lot of mock tests in mathematics which is going to be really very crucial right and as we have seen in today's session So looking forward, friends. Along with all the efforts that the Unacademy team is putting uh, for the BITSAT examinations, as you must be already knowing, these are the live daily classes that go for 11th and 12th standard. As you can see, uh, this is. at this this happens from 9 am in the morning till 1 pm in the afternoon yeah uh, as you can see we have alternately alternately structured a very nice structure for everyone so that they can learn the basic concepts uh, ncert uh, cup ke point of view se cbse ke point of view se starts with biology chavi ma'am extremely wonderful teacher who gives her best and uh, then umesh sir is uh, taking 12 standard maths at 10 pm uh, then sumit sir physics at 11 pm yeah uh, 11 standard physics then chemistry sakshi ma'am yeah 
I'm also going to contribute as much as possible. Yeah, as I said, uh, this is my first session in an academy. Looking forward to, uh, you know, giving the best amount of uh, knowledge possible, helping you guys out as much as possible. That is our motive. Yes, this, this is the schedule for Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. So make sure you have all these timings updated. You do not miss any lecture because if you attend these lectures live, it is going to help you a lot because you can interact and, uh, you know, make sure that you're uh, getting the best amount of knowledge list from the best faculty out there right friends so one important fact an academy subscription that is going to help a lot this is all the things that go on an academy yeah uh, if you uh, subscribe in an academy you'll get all the live classes you can interact with the educators yeah there's live polls leaderboards all the amazing things um, you know that help you understand not only the concept but also improve your application skills in terms of scoring better yeah so it's not only the concepts it's also how you are going to apply in the examination and how well you deliver and we at an academy are trying to do our level best in trying to create a visual feel and give our level best to our students yes friends best educators as always in an academy yeah uh, and uh, different kinds of uh, innovative creative tools using the best technology we are trying to use and make sure that you get the uh, best amount of uh, conceptual knowledge right friends so yes if you haven't uh, subscribed first of all subscribe on the an academy channel yeah an academy 11th and 12th standard ka alag se channel bana hua hai to wahan pe subscribe kijiye that will uh, give you regular updates yeah regular uh, you know you can uh, constantly watch new and upcoming interesting innovative uh, ट्रेंडिंग वीडियोज एज वेल जैसे ये वाला एक वीडियो था या इफ यू यू नो गो ऑन प्ले स्टोर फाइंड अन अकेडमी लर्निंग ऐप इंस्टॉल दैट ऐप येस एंड वंस यू इंस्टॉल दैट ऐप रजिस्टर योर सेल्फ एंड देन गो टू अन अकेडमी प्लस या गो टू अन अकेडमी प्लस फिगर आउट विच सेक्शन यू बिलोंग टू या सी बी एस सी क्लास इलेवन सी बी एस सी क्लास ट्वेल्व एंड आफ्टर दैट get your subscription and trust me friends this is an awesome time to subscribe yourself on an academy because uh, you know the prices are uh, pretty low and uh, you know the tremendous uh, thing that is that uh, one month subscription 99 mein mil raha this is something that has never happened before we'll talk about that on the next slide you can use uh, this uh, code gp live which is my code over here to apply and you can get a 10% discount for that for the same yeah you can go through all the price points that over here uh, tremendous discounts again because uh, <clears throat> you know I, this is the time where we want most of the students to take the maximum benefit that uh, we are uh, trying to provide to students over here as you can see so if you are a 12th standard student and uh, if you have already given your 12th standard maybe 12 months would not be ideal for you but definitely at least start with one month subscription because it's as low as 99 bucks it cannot get lower than that friends and if you are getting an academy plus subscription for 99 bucks that's going to be an awesome deal yeah and uh, if you think that you know you you want more out of it then you can definitely sign for a year long subscription if you are transiting from 11 to 12 standard now then the one year deal is meant for you uh, i hope that you understand that this is the best deal that you can get with that 10% discount you can the prices can increase so uh, do not hesitate subscribe at the earliest yeah on the an academy plus channel do not forget to subscribe on the youtube channel as well yes like comment and subscribe friends that's going to uh, help us uh, feel good more about what we are doing and so that we can constantly help out you guys with uh, you know the best of uh, best of our potential yes friends so yes these are all the channels an academy jai an academy neat 9th and 10th 11th and 12th this is the channel on which we are having this video right now yes the an academy subscription for uh, 9th and uh, 9th se 12th standard tak in two categories 9th and 10th is one category and 11th and 12th is the other category yeah uh, heavily focused on cbsc and that is why uh, you know this bitch sat section is coming into the cbsc category why because the syllabus is absolutely based on cbsc 11th and 12th basic fundamental concepts and its application in different kinds of ways so apart from bitsat we are also targeting uh, other state board entrance examinations as well yeah uh, mst cet ho gaya tamil nadu entrance exam ho gaya kcet ho gaya so uh, in the comments please try and uh, tell us what all you feel uh, should, we should do going forward so that we can help you more yes friends so this is my code again put this code get the one one subscription for 99 and get the best out of an academy friends yes So all right friends i think it's time to say bye i hope you enjoyed the video 
and uh, would uh, urge you guys to come at 8 pm so that we can have a, a an actual awesome uh, you know high paced session at 8 pm where in i am going to take my first mock test for maths yeah so jo bhi humne abhi baatein ki hai wo actual uh, run through karte hue dekhenge theek hai so uh, see you again namaskar once again bye bye take care have fun enjoy see you friends once again bye bye tata take care good night